Welcome everybody to this uh, installation video of the Inflation Coin Wallet. I've noticed that a lot of people have trouble uh, getting this uh, wallet to sync, so uh, we'll give it a try, uh, see if we can get it to work. Uh, I'm on the Coin Market Cap page, and let's search for Inflation Coin, also known as IFLT. On this page, uh, you're able to visit the website, the Bitcoin Talk page. Uh, Block explorers and the Telegram chat markets, if you want, and the Reddit on the social, Twitter, and so on. Um, so, we're gonna visit the Bitcoin Talk page, that's the announcement link. And in this first post, uh, you are gonna find your resources you need. There's a short description about the coin. Uh, we're gonna download the Windows wallet. Let's see, let's place this over here. So we download the wallet, we can get, um, let's see, uh, the bootstrap also, we're gonna do that additional and see if we can get, to that, can get that to work. <laughs> Sorry for my English, uh, trying to artic articulate the best I can. Uh, while download this, downloading this bootstrap, uh, let's wait for that. Uh, there's wallets for Mac, uh, Android for the phone. Those are uh, full clients, so it's gonna take uh, around one gigabyte of space. Uh, I would recommend to wait for the the light version to come out. It, it can take a while because the development isn't that super fast because the team isn't like super huge but you can give it a try and uh, see if you can get it to work and it's pretty pretty neat actually I've run it in a bluestacks environment and it's decent so we got the bootstrap that it's done same folder So I downloaded the bootstrap and the, the actual QT client. Uh, there's a lot of other resources you can get over here to make a paper wallet or uh, the full repository, uh, markets, etc. So here's my folder uh, stuff we need. Uh, what I got, and I'll provide it in a link below, is another uh, configuration file with a couple of ad notes I added uh, to make it sync faster, and that's where a lot of the trouble is. Uh, I'll, I'll show you right over where you have to place it. Uh, here's the QT. Yeah, we're going to move this over here. And the bootstrap, uh, what helps uh, to distress the, the, the download amount of uh, the network. We'll add that later, but it's not necessary. The only thing that nece is necessary is the, the QT. So what you're going to do, you have to read me with it explains pretty good I, I guess a lot of people don't read it or don't want to read it uh, but we're gonna do it without so I'm gonna start a QT there is a chance you'll get an uh, error on startup just click it away uh, ignore it uh, sometimes it will start up or sometimes you'll have to c close it down or start it again so what happened on startup is that uh, the inflation coin folder in your app data is created. So uh, as you see, it's not connected right now, zero connections. Uh, but we start the wallet that's working. Uh, so I'm gonna close this down. Uh, you could wait for a while and see if it connects, but I don't have that much trust in it. So 
close it down and then we're gonna press the start menu and then you're gonna type and that's percentile uh, symbol app data percentile again and then you'll end up in your app data folder uh, you can instantly press backslash and fill it up with inflation coin and you'll be exactly in the folder where you need to be and for me it's gonna be uh, C users Mika my name it's my user account app data roaming inflation coin and you'll see there's no config configuration file at all so I'm gonna just simply simply copy that paste that and then we should be good to go so I'm gonna start the QT and see how long it takes before it synchronizes so we have zero connections again uh, this could, could take a while depending on your location your internet and you'll see it's connecting pretty quick I've got three connections right now and it's starting to download the blockchain so what I'm gonna do not right now is uh, not gonna wait for this because this could take like a couple hours maybe a day sometimes even a couple of days or a week uh, so we're gonna close this down and what we're gonna do is go back and we'll find our bootstrap and then I'm gonna copy everything except for the config file and we're gonna copy this over there so we're gonna move it replace the files within the destination start a QT again you can copy this to your uh, desktop if you want for easy access now we're gonna start it again Now it's going to rescan the block index or load it up. And now we're going to wait again to make connection to the network. And this one is like 380 blocks, 380,000 blocks behind, so uh, we'll see if we can provide a new bootstrap so it will take less time uh, so yeah that's about it when it's uh, synced it should be good to go and uh, you can receive your coins and start staking uh, well if there are any questions uh, let me know below in the comments or contact me in the discord channel and or telegram uh, and uh, happy staking.